So my name is Randy Treichler. I have Star Hollow Farm uh, up in Pennsylvania. It's a small farm. We, the farm is 85 acres, but we only farm about 15 acres in vegetables. We're a certified organic operation. We've been doing this since 1992. We were certified from the very beginning. For years, when we were at farmer's markets, even around D.C., we just advertised that we were organic because it, that we were certified organic. That was a distinction. At that time, all of the vendors, obviously at a farmer's market, I think it's obvious, are local. Um, it tends to be that most vendors at farmer's markets are small scale because as you get bigger, you tend, it's not worth dealing with all of the hassle of doing a farmer's market, so you tend to go towards the wholesale end of things. Um, but it's not obvious to be organic. And so we were on the very early end of organics. It's interesting. There are a lot of distinctions that are coming up now between large scale, small scale, organic, not organic, local, not local. It's becoming a much more complicated picture. Now, when, when people start asking me if our produce is organic or they want to know the details about something, if, if, I, can, if I think they want to they want to have a discussion, I, I end up asking them what, what it is that's important to them. Uh, if, they're a, if they're a cancer survivor, then certified organic is probably, a lot of, a lot of cancer survivors are recommended to, to have organic produce. And probably the fact that it's organic is more important. Yes, I feel like being an, an organic farmer is, is sort of a bonus for the people that care. I have a lot of people that are interested to know about the food, where it's coming from, the varieties, the taste characteristics, and the fact that they can interact with me. They ask me specific questions about things. Is they may or may not care whether it's organic. So I, I don't downplay it, but I don't feel like that's a defining characteristic.